Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this video, we'll be solving this question which states that if H is given to be a subgroup of a finite group G, right? So it, this group has finite number of elements within it. From this group, right, we are taking some small subgroup which we are calling by the name H. For in this subgroup, we are saying if G belongs to G, small g belongs to the capital group G, right? And if n is the smallest positive integer such that g raised to power n belongs to h, this is the condition that is given to us that uh, n is the smallest positive integer such that g raised to power n belongs to h. So we have to make use of this condition in order to prove that n divides the order of g. So first of all, uh, in order to prove this thing, we assume that the order of g is what it is m, right? Now we wanted to make a relationship between uh, this n and m. So what we can do, we can make use of our division algorithm and we can write any number in this form. So we can write m also in this form, n q plus r where q is the quotient, uh, quotient and r is the remainder. And we have a condition on the remainder that remainder is either equal to 0 or it lies between 0 and n. Correct? Okay. So now we wanted to prove that n divides m. So what does uh, we have to prove? We have to prove that is this r should be 0. Let's see how we prove this thing by making use of this condition here. Correct. So here let's consider g raised to power r. Be why? Because we are focused on r. So you can write r from here as m minus nq. Correct. So you can write g raised to power r as g raised to power m minus nq. You can split up the powers using the laws of exponents and again make uh, the use of the laws of exponents and write g raised to power minus nq as g raised to power n whole raised to power minus q. Now g raised to power m is e. Why? Because the order of g is m. So g raised to power m is e. Correct? So this thing becomes g raised to power n whole raised to power q. Uh, minus q right now because it is given that n is the smallest positive integer such that g raised to power n belongs to h correct so therefore this term is also present in h why because h is given to be a subgroup so any power of this g would also be present in h so what does it mean it means that this g raised to power r is present in h where what is your r r is the number which is less than n greater than equal to zero right such that g raised to power r is uh, contained in h. Now this gives you a contradiction to our given condition. What is this contradiction? You now found a number r which is less than n such that when you raise it to power g you are present in h right however we are given n as the smallest positive number of such kind so this is a contradiction on the smallest part hence this thing cannot be there if this thing cannot be there, that means r has to be equal to 0. This is the condition because if r is uh, less than n and greater than 0, so this condition is violated. Hence, we obtained r to be equal to 0. If r is 0 from here, what do you get? You get m is equal to nq, right? So from here, you clearly see n divides m, right? or n divides the order of g and this is what we wanted to prove here so i hope you understood this question well well that is it for this video thank you for watching